It's moving day! Welcome back, siblings. Today, we are moving to Missouri. Things are kind of packed. I need to finish packing literally everything today. Abram's room. Most of the boxes and everything is down at the garage, which is gonna make packing so much easier. Let me give you guys a quick rundown before we get into the meat of this video. Me and my fiance went under contract in May for a house in Missouri. We decided like a while ago that we were gonna be moving to Missouri, went house shopping, go watch that video, all that. This is what my room looks like right now. Literally empty. I need to take all this down. Bathroom is pretty empty. Closet is pretty empty. It's kind of just a lot of last minute stuff because I still had to like live here. So it's just that awkward phase of moving but still need stuff type of thing. I promise my fiance is not incompetent, incapable, whatever the word is of doing this. Um, he's in office yesterday and today. His last two days ever being like in office because he's going fully remote. And originally he was gonna take this all off his desk because someone's coming to buy it. But then the last night, that we really have just us two in our apartment before we move. And I was like, let's hang out, let's enjoy. And then we um, both fell asleep. So I'm actually a little scared because of these arms, the monitors, what if I just drop them? I've never lived in an apartment that thought about people moving in and out because look at this, it's cursed. How are you supposed to fit furniture? So you go up the stairs and then there's this little slot. It's like, seriously? So the desk is now here. I don't know how to get it down the stairs. Um, my camera died, but I ended up figuring it out. Got it sold. Actually had to take the legs off. Don't know why I didn't just start with that. Anyway, we've been starting the actual move. Everything's going down in the garage right now. I've almost got all the big stuff out of up here. Just got this desk, which is unbelievably heavy. So officially on the road to Missouri. Before we continue with the move, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Green Chef, which has been a huge help in this move, and today I'm making the shrimp coconut soup. Green Chef has made my life so much easier during this move and remodel because I didn't have to think about what I was going to be eating, and I was still able to eat clean ingredients and build healthy habits, especially while preparing for my wedding, without the stress of grocery shopping. And because all the ingredients come pre-proportioned and often pre-chopped with sauces that are pre-made in-house, it's so easy to make food while still being healthy. Also, this meal only took about 25 minutes minutes to make. I also love how Green Chef makes eating healthy fun. None of the meals that I've tried so far are boring. They all have such great flavors. Like I would have never thought of making coconut shrimp soup and it's so good. You guys know I've worked with HelloFresh before and Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh and offers even more meal plans to choose from. So there's something for everyone and I love switching between both brands. And you guys can use my code 60SydneyFrancis for 60% off plus free shipping. So go to greenchef.com for more details and don't miss out on this good deal. This is so good, oh my gosh. I somehow forgot to get any clips, nothing, not even on my phone, not even a picture of us like packing. It was chaos, it was hectic, it was stressful, but it got done, it got done, it got organized, we left on time. Shout out to everyone who helped. My dad is like 10 minutes ahead of us on the highway. He's got the trailer and everything, so his giant truck is full, the trailer's full, and then we have stuff in our car, and we've got the kitties. They're being so good, just sleeping. Now, um, I have like, actually, I don't really have mixed emotions. I'm just excited. I feel like I already had all the, oh, I'm sad to be leaving, gonna miss my friends, say goodbye. And then now I'm like, let's go, buying a house, Missouri, remodeling. Very excited about all that. So we just pulled into the neighborhood. We just actually passed our neighborhood pool and we're almost in the house. We're like a few streets away. I'm so excited. Kitties, we're at your new home. Somehow my dad did beat us by like 15 minutes. We did stop for coffee before we left, but we thought he would take longer because he has the trailer, but he's already there. He's probably already pulled around the back unloading. First time pulling into the garage. All right, I have a cat. Here's the house. Oh my gosh, I haven't even seen it empty yet. Hello! Hey, how's it going? Hey. Felix <laughs> is like, where are we? <laughs> yeah, we just brought him in. Things just got really hectic because like everybody showed up to help us move everything in and we got done in like 20, 30 minutes and then we we're talking forever. But I just did my first load of laundry to wash our sheets. I have some dirty clothes in the wash and uh, I've actually like, oh, 
The smartest thing I did on this trip was I had a cleaning basket where I cleaned my old apartment and it's all ready to clean right now and I had stuff to wash dishes, toilet paper, paper towel, basic stuff that you need when you move in somewhere. Um, I don't know if I explained but we're moving everything into the basement because we are starting the remodel literally tomorrow and our painter is going to start this weekend and then we have floors coming in um, like the third week of August. So we're going to, I mean, oh my gosh, I want to do a whole video just explaining like what the plan is and I'll show it in the daylight but we're doing all new floors, new paint new everything it's it's gonna look really good it's just like ancient and squeaky right now here is our master seeing it empty i'm so excited we're gonna redo the bathroom obviously oh my gosh i'm so excited coming downstairs here's literally everything we own <laughs> kind of weird to see it all just like sitting out i also need to set up this room to start filming for work um so i need to move everything out soon so wish me luck we just went and got steak and shake, set up this little table, and now we can eat. <laughs> Good morning. It is the first morning in the new house, and we are just sitting out here on the porch. It's raining, so we're just enjoying the rain. How's it going? Oh my gosh, the instant humidity on the camera. Well, see you inside. <laughs> Since we are living downstairs while we remodel, obviously I can't like move into the kitchen and everything because we're about to rip up these floors. But I can clean the kitchen cabinets so I can start using those, so I'm gonna work on that. So we started cleaning and there's this contact paper everywhere and it's not coming up. I did get it off of one shelf. It took forever. So we're gonna go get coffee. We very much so need some coffee because today we are doing demo day. Our first grocery run was a success. We actually loved the store we went to. Kind of reminds us of H-E-B. So we actually spent forever there because we got coffee and then went to the grocery store. And then we actually have like a business project thing. I hate to be that person that's like, stay tuned. But um, me and my dad are doing like a business thing together. So I was helping him pick out some colors and whatnot for it. Um, anyway, my brother's here, Jasper's here, and some family and we're ripping up the floors. So <laughs> remodel is starting right now. Wow. Already honestly so much better without the carpet. <laughs> Hello Jasper, say hi vlog. Hi vlog, 2023. <laughs> <laughs> so of course the first part of any remodel is going to be demo day and luckily I have my family come over to help me rip out all of our carpets so that we can just get started with no floors to worry about and then I tried to get a bunch of that contact paper off and this was actually before we decided we were painting the cabinets and everything so I ended up not worrying about it but it was really annoying then I tried to get up all the tile this was actually really easy and really satisfying to do because we're just gonna redo both the bathrooms for some reason this bathroom is like pink themed and then I wanted a new fireplace mantle so I was trying to get this off which was a little difficult so Abram came and helped me and then we were able to get it off pretty easily and it was actually really satisfying but that part was really heavy then we found this cup that has literally been there since this house was built then I kept going with all the carpet this was another day and getting it off the stairs was really difficult but Abram was working on getting all these tack strips up as well good morning it is probably a few weeks since my last clip Things have just been so hectic. I've been trying to get as much footage as possible of this remodel so far, but I just have no free time, none at all. So I'm gonna give you guys a little update on how the house is going. So we're still living in the basement pretty much until the end of August. So we have a little bit of a setup going. There's my work setup. I did get this painted, which means I can move in here. This is a little sneak peek of the vibes of the house. And you can already start to see it coming together because paint has started. Remember everything used to be brown and now it's all white. This is all just primer, so still getting stuff started. This room is going to be all green. I'm so excited, green with black accents over there. But we're still in the prime stages, priming stages. I did get all the wallpaper off this room, which was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. This was actually worse though. I'm not even done because it's that bad. And the master, priming up the doors. They're all gonna be black. Oh, that's gonna be black. And this bathroom is the worst ever. It sucks. Um, we're doing a full bathroom remodel and there's just so much work to be done before we can even get like tile put in in our new shower. 
I just want it to be done already. It's gonna be so cool when everything's done, but I'm just exhausted and everything from everything I have to do. So I have to peel all this wallpaper, skim coat the walls. I need to take down that wall. I need to finish taking that out, take the old shower out. Like I have so much to do this weekend in here, but I just haven't started because I know how much work it's gonna be and I don't wanna do it. Living room is just a room of doors right now because they're all getting primed. This is whitewashed, but it's actually gonna be black. Uh, we've got doors primed. Oh, this is done, yes. Look how cute, now that it's all has the trim and everything on it. It looks so good. And then this is all primed as well. The house looks super dark because all the windows are obviously taped up for painting. But y'all, it's gonna look so good. We're also doing all black cabinets in the kitchen. That'll be one of the last things that gets painted though. And then we have, I think, just over a week until all the new floors get put in and it's just gonna be a whole new house once the floors are in. Things are definitely going. <laughs> This was one of the most difficult parts of the demo was ripping up all of the old wood floors and we decided not to keep them because I didn't want it to feel really chopped up in like different rooms because there used to be carpet everywhere as you saw. So we're just gonna do the same flooring all throughout the whole house, which means I had to rip up these original floors and it was so unbelievably difficult. I was pretty upset and just annoyed this whole time, but it was a good workout, I guess. I got a lot done. Then randomly one day, Logan came over to just check out the updates on the house and he was like hey do you want any of your bushes gone I was like sure he's like okay I feel like pulling them out right now so we took his strap and started ripping out some bushes which is where a lot of the bugs were coming from and they were just very overgrown and I just need to kind of redo a lot of the stuff in the yard especially in the front it's very overgrown so we'll just be doing some new bushes and stuff who knows what we're gonna do honestly I haven't even thought about the yard but this was super helpful because this was going to be super annoying to do. And so yeah, just enjoy us uh, trying to rip out some trees. Also later he ended up breaking his strap on one of the ones in the front, but I didn't get a video of that. <laughs> weeks since the last clip so I just want to go ahead and end this video before we jump into kind of part two I'm trying not to give away too much but you can kind of already see a lot we're getting closer to the upstairs being done for the remodel we're actually about to move upstairs so you guys got like three four weeks of my hectic life in a couple of minutes I know I didn't capture everything um, I just wanted to explain a little bit and then we'll kind of hop into part two whenever I get to editing that basically my wedding is three weeks away from the time I'm filming this video. I've been planning a wedding that we moved and remodeling and I've just been so stressed. I'm normally a lot better at vlogging everything, but this time in my life, I was like, it's gonna be such a good time for content. No, it's an awful time for content. I work a full-time job, I'm remodeling, I'm planning a wedding. There's just too much going on. Not to mention, all my family's excited I'm here, so I've been hanging out with family a lot and still trying to be active and still just trying to live life and it's just, really overwhelming and a lot. So that's kind of why I basically took, I don't even know how long of a break from posting on YouTube, but hopefully I'll be back on my grind soon. Here's a giant pile of boxes. That's like not even the start of it, of half the wedding stuff, half remodeling stuff. There's just so much going on. So all that being said, I'm gonna end this video and I will see you guys in part two of the remodel where I do a lot of the reveal of upstairs and we start downstairs. Wish me luck because my sanity has officially gone out the window. Goodbye. Thank you.